Hey guys, this is Luis Moreno with Simply Health Insurance Agency. Guys, I get the question about LIS, the extra help. LIS stands for Low Income Subsidy, which is the extra help that people get with prescription drugs. I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about that here in a minute. Guys, do me a favor, like this video, subscribe and hit the little bell icon so that you can get these kind of notices. Hey guys, Luis Moreno again here. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you about LIS. Guys, I run into probably three out of four people that qualify for LIS and don't have it, okay? What LIS, LIS is, it stands for low income subsidy. What that is, is, is the extra help that in sh the, these Medicare beneficiaries are gonna get on their prescription side of a Medicare Advantage plan or a prescription drug plan. What happens if they qualify? And there's two ways that they need to qualify. They got to meet the income limits and they got to meet the asset limits. Assuming that they do that, there's a five minute application that needs to be completed on ssa.gov, just or Google extra help with prescription drugs. Go in there, fill out an application for them. It'll take a couple of weeks for it to get approved. Worst case scenario is they get denied and nothing happens. But if it does get approved, two things will happen for you. It's going to create a special election for you. And secondly, it's going to help the insureds out dramatically, guys. It gets rid of the donut hole. It gets rid of any premium payments that they may have associated with a late payment or, or, or a late penalty. And it, it decreases the co-pace for their prescriptions. It is huge for our seniors if you can get them qualified for this. Guys, take advantage of it. Uh, one of the ways that I, that I check to see if an insured has it is you can always ask questions like, what do you pay for your drugs? A dollar in change, three dollars in change, maybe nine dollars in change. Uh, but again, you're making an assumption that they have it. I like to call. I call broker support and I check with them. You're going to need a couple of pieces of information. You're going to need their name, their date of birth, either their Medicare number or social, and their address. Broker support for any one of the carriers will give you their Medicare number if you need it. If you don't have it, they'll give you the effective dates of Part A, Part B. But more importantly, they're going to tell you if they're on LIS and at what level. Super important that you know if they already have it. Because if they do, you don't want to reapply. If they don't have it, then you can apply if they meet those income categories or those income requirements and asset requirements. Guys, this is another way to help our seniors out there. Make sure you're doing this check for them. Make sure if they have it, you can utilize it as a special election to enroll. And you can do this once a quarter for the first three quarters of the year. If they don't have it and they meet the requirements, enroll them. You will spend no more than five minutes to complete this application. Hope this helps you. Again, this is Luis Moreno. If you have any questions, if you're out there with an upline that is not helping you out with stuff like this and you'd like to partner up with us, guys, I have my email here in the bottom. Hit me up, guys. I'd love to work with you. Guys, everybody on my team gets access to 20 years of knowledge in this book that I put together. It's got the income and asset limits not only for LIS, but it's also got it for, for the Medicare savings programs out there. Guys, we will help you out. We have a vested interest in your success. Please take advantage of us. Shoot me an email or hit on the description. It's got my cell number there. Give me a call. I'd love to partner up with you. Again, Luis Moreno, like this video, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon for tips like this. Thank you.